Welcome back to another hygiene shopping vlog. Today I'm going to take y'all with me. Um, I think I'm only going to go to Target today, but if I go anywhere else, I'll let y'all know. Today I'm basically going inside of Target so I can re-up on some hygiene essentials, both feminine hygiene and just overall hygiene in general. Um, I want to try out a new lotion. I ran out of my favorite body oil. Y'all know it's still the winter time, so my skin gets super dry in the winter time, so I wanted to pick up a new oil. Um, look at some new body washes, and I really need a new scrub for my legs I ran all out of my fur KP scrub so I need to find something to replace that um, I'm not sure if this target has the Ulta hopefully they do because they usually carry like the fur products and stuff like that but I wanted to try a new brand anyway but yeah guys I'm getting ready to walk in now I'm gonna take y'all with me I just wanted to say hello and if you guys are new here don't forget to subscribe down below if you guys have any product recommendations that you think I should try comment down below and let me know but um yeah guys Let's go. Y'all, they cleared the dead body washes and soaps and all the exfoliators and stuff out. Like, it's no exfoliators. So, I think I'm going to have to go to another target. They got a few body soaps down there, but they're not the ones that I was looking for. They have a new um, one of these. It's like for rough and bumpy skin, but they don't have that one in here. This is just the Asian brace. They don't even have the other um, ones in here. And they have these body washes that I also like, but I still have some of these in the house. The antibacterial is one of my favorites, but I get it in the bar version. Um, yeah, even the toilet, they don't have any like new ones. I already have the Sprite Night one. I love have these new lotions with the deep ceramide serum. Um, they have three different ones, but they are fragrance the same. So I think I'm going to try either the intense or the deep nourishing. I'm not sure. They both say that they have um, it's for that long lasting skin softness. No, this one says that, so I'm going to get this one. Y'all, the Chris White Strips Professional White, the one that says 12 levels wider. This is the way to go. If you don't want to get like a professional whitening, this one definitely works well. We already have some of these in the house, so I'll show you all those when I get in. Um, I'm not going to get any today because we don't need it. Over here, we are looking at the toothpaste. The Crest Pro Health is one of my faves, but we usually get either Crest Pro Health or the Crest 3D White. So I think I want to try something new today. Crest 3D White Brilliance. I don't know. I think I'm going to just stick to the Pro Health today. Since we do have the fresh whitening strips in the house. So I think I'm going to get these. I wanted to show y'all the cleanser that I'm using right now, La Roche Posay. This cleanser is soap free, has ceramides, sulfate free. So it's good to pair it with um, because I use Curology at night. My Curology treatment has tretinoin in it. So yeah, this is the cleanser that I'm using right now. I'm not going to get this because I already have some left in the house. But La Roche Posay, they have a lot of good um, products. I'm trying to find the one that's viral on TikTok. It's like a bomb to like put around your nose or like moisturize your face. But I don't see it in here. So I'm getting ready to show y'all what I use in place of um, makeup remover wipes because I don't use makeup remover wipes anymore. I use micellar water and I either use the Garnier or the La Roche Posay brand. There's a few different ones that you guys could choose from. But yeah, I'm pretty good in this department. The CeraVe Renewing Essay Cleanser. That's a good one too. And it comes in two different sizes. So I could try it in either size. 
Yo, when I say the block was hot inside that Target, the block was hot. Everybody was inside Target, like, and I'm sitting here trying to vlog. I'm sitting here trying to show y'all the stuff, right? But, like, I don't know if y'all know, like, those that vlog know, like, no matter how long you do it, unless you're with somebody else, if you're by yourself, vlogging in public is so awkward. Like, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> So I'm sitting here trying to show y'all. Turn right on the Chew Avenue. I'm sitting here trying to show y'all the lotion, and people is walking past and just looking. But I'm not used to that because the Target that I normally go to, like when I where I feel comfortable vlogging at, the people in there, like they really just be chilling. Like I don't know if they're used to it, if they like used to seeing people like in that area doing stuff like that. But this Target, the block was hot. Like that Target was jumping, and they was nosy. Like they was staring me right in the face they did not care so it was embarrassing but I'm proud of myself because I still pushed through I still vlogged even while people was looking so like I feel like that was a proud moment for me you know a win is a win but as y'all could see from what I was showing y'all a lot of that stuff was wiped out like I don't know what's going on with Target I feel like Target is always stocked up I see a lot of people talking about Walmart now and um how Walmart be having all this stuff like having things that Target doesn't have and I don't know if y'all like watch my vlogs but a long time ago I told y'all when I'm looking for something that I feel like I can only find online like or on Amazon or something I'll check Walmart and Walmart does have it so I mean I think I'm gonna start checking out Walmart for um when it comes to hygiene shopping and stuff but i don't have time to go to walmart today so i'm not gonna go walmart is far there's only like one walmart and it's like closer to the daycare so i'll probably go there um one day this week on my lunch break or something but i'm gonna go to another target and a cvs to see like what else i could find because i honestly didn't find what i was looking for in the target that i just came from i just got the lotion that i showed y'all i got um the toothpaste and then I got like some cleaning supplies that's like unrelated so I'm going to have to stop at a few more places so I can pick up what I need and then when I get in the house I'm going to um, do like a haul of everything that I got and tell you guys a little bit more about it so yeah y'all stay tuned stay tuned I have a lot of new choices for the body wash and stuff like coconut is new they used to have a shade but I want I think they still have it but um coconut and cocoa butter is definitely no we are now in the shaving aisle and i recently started narrowing my legs still got my underarms and bikini area wax but, but i find that nair removes the hair all the way down to the root for my legs and i don't have to shave like every other day this lasts like a good maybe four to five days so i picked up one of these um, they do have these different ones over here, but I never tried this, so I'm just going to stick to what I know for now. Y'all, they carry the way scalp and body scrub hair. This is in St. Bart's. This stuff smells so good, but I really need a specialized scrub, something that focuses on KP. Um, they have like the cleansers and the body oil, but this is in Melrose Place, and then this is also in Melrose Place. They have an oil, but it's a rose fragrance. It's not my favorite, so still got to find an oil. All right, guys, I'm back. So I just wanted to show you guys everything that I picked up. I'm going to do a little haul for y'all. Um, I wasn't able to find that Dove um, body serum wash that I was looking for, but this is one of the new ones, and it also has exfoliating properties. This is the Radiance Renew, and it has vitamin C serum and exfoliating minerals. So the one that I was looking for is called Exfoliate Away, but I don't think they have it available in stores yet. That one has AHAs and BHAs, so I'm hoping that that one drops um, soon, so that way I can start using it like before the springtime comes, because if you guys don't already know, I have KP on my legs, and I need to exfoliate as often as possible, but sometimes I don't want to always... Um, um, use like an abrasive scrub so I think it'll be perfect to get a body wash that has AHAs and BHAs just to help slowly exfoliate that away every day. So this one I'm just now smelling it for the first time. It smells citrusy kind of like um mandarin. It smells really good. So this is definitely like a morning um something that I would use in the morning because it has more of like a wake up fragrance like the citrus, the mandarin oranges and things like that. 
But this one says that it has vitamin C plus exfoliating minerals. It's supposed to brighten and smooth your skin and gently buff away dead skin cells. So like I said, I'm going to go with this one until I can find the exfoliate away one. This one has no sulfates, no parabens, and it's number one dermatologist recommended brand. Um, Plant-based cleansers, pH balance, and microbiome gentle. So I'm actually really excited to try this out. This looks like it'll be a pretty good one. I'll let you guys know um, in upcoming vlogs how I like these products, but I'm looking forward to trying this one right here. So I'm going to put that to the side. And I'm going to start like with the shower products. So next up, we have this Nivea, and this is the In Shower Body Lotion, 24-hour moisture, and this is the Cocoa Butter one. I do have the normal, like the regular fragrance one of this, and it works really well. helps to keep my skin moisturized throughout the winter. Um, in the wintertime, my legs, my arms, my hands especially get so dry, so I just like to reinforce moisture as much as I can. This one says instantly moisturizes and it's not sticky. Um, the one that I have is also by Nivea. It's just a different fragrance of it and it's not sticky at all, so I can say that. I feel like I prefer this fragrance more because the other one literally just smells like Nivea lotion, you know, the plain... Um, regular generic scent so this one is more scented with like cocoa and shea butter so this one smells really good and it's like aesthetically pleasing in the white bottle so there we have that even shower i'm going to go with the nair next because this is something that you use before you get in the shower but i don't know if i told y'all in the store um sometimes i shave my legs depending on if i have hair or not but i prefer to nair my legs because i feel like it gets deeper into the root and the hair takes longer to grow back so i've been using the nair body cream hair remover and this is the rich cocoa butter i like the ones that's fragrance because it kind of hides that perm fragrance that nair tends to have this is supposed to help you have smooth skin for days, reduces hair regrowth, and is dermatologist tested. So I can say that it does reduce the hair growth, um, your hair on your legs. I don't um, near my underarms or anything like that. I get that wax along with my bikini area, but I use this on my legs and like my upper thigh area, and I definitely can say the hair takes a little bit longer to grow back. So really like this. Next up, I'm going to show you guys these two moisturizers that I got. So I'm going to show you one at a time. This one is the, I think you pronounce it Kapari. And I really actually picked this one up because of the fragrance. But this is the Kapari Ultra Restore Body Butter with Hyaluronic Acid. So this is supposed to be very moisturizing because if you guys know Hyaluronic Acid, well, and Niacinamide too is known for moisturizing the skin. Yeah, so next up we have this moisturizing body oil. This is the Neutrogena Body Oil in the Light Sesame Formula. This one I'm already familiar with. I couldn't find a new body oil that I wanted to try because I wasn't really in love with the fragrances. I love the fragrance of this one. Not so much a winter fragrance, but you know, spring is coming and we are getting ready to transition into the spring. So I just decided to go with this one. There is a body oil that I wanted to try by Saltaire, but it's not available in stores and it's not even available online. I think it's so out so until i can get my hands on this one i'm just gonna go with this one like i said i'm familiar with this it absorbs quickly into the skin it smells really good so you can never go wrong with this and it's nice and moisturizing so again that's neutrogena next up i picked up another one of my nighttime fragrances and this is the mixed bar vanilla bourbon this smells so good it also comes in the perfume version but like i said this is what i wear at night so yeah, this smells really good. Like, it's, this is perfect. You don't even have to just wear it at night. But I like that it's not too strong. It's not too overpowering. I like to wear body splashes at night over perfume because sometimes perfume can just be a little bit strong. And I'm trying to relax before I lay down, not waking my senses, if that makes sense. But yes, again, mixed bar and vanilla bourbon. This smells really good. You guys should try this out. They have other fragrances too. So if you're not like a vanilla kind of girl, you can try out their other fragrances. Last pretty long, nice and gentle. I love this stuff. So next up, I just got a new deodorant. This is the Dove Even Tone Calming Breeze. It has vitamin B3. So this is supposed to help like even the skin tone under your underarms. I didn't smell this one yet. I have their Even Tone and other fragrances. Okay, this one smells good. It's like a springtime, like a fresh scent. But yeah, this is supposed to help even your underarms. So I like to get the natural tone sometimes and use it at night. And then I'll get like a regular deodorant for the morning. So next up, I wanted to show you guys what I got for dental hygiene. 
I showed you guys these in the store and I let you know that I already had some at home so I wasn't going to purchase them. But I did pick up this Crest Pro Health Advanced Gum Protection. Me and Vince like to use sensitive um, toothpaste often so sometimes we'll do Sensodyne, sometimes we'll do like gum protection or like enamel protection. Um, we use this for the whitening. We don't always use whitening toothpaste. I just feel like the strips are a little bit more effective. So we definitely always go for like gum health and enamel safety over whitening. So this is just the Pro Health Advanced Gum Protection. And this is going to fight cavities, gingivitis, acid erosion, sensitivity, plaque, tartar. And it also helps with whitening and freshening your breath. So there we have that. And then always look for the professional white, the one that says 12 levels whiter. I have tried the other one. I think it's seven levels whiter. It still works, but this is going to help remove more of the staining in one sitting than the other ones where you have to do like a few. So I'll do this like once a week until I get my desired um, results. And it comes with a top strip and a bottom strip. So yeah, there's that. And I think I showed you guys everything, but I, my Care Of package just came in today. So I wanted to show you guys the collagen because this collagen is supposed to help with like your skin elasticity, um, skin health and everything like that. So I'm really excited to try this out. I'm actually going to try it for the first time today. But I just wanted to show you guys this because if you're not taking a collagen supplement or including collagen in your diet, and you are experiencing like troubled skin or skin issues, you should definitely try out collagen. It comes in drink forms, it comes in tablet forms, it comes in supplement forms. Um, just incorporate it in your diet and see what you find. But yes, I'm gonna be trying this out and letting you know how I like care of, but you guys will see that in another vlog. So yeah guys, that's everything that I have for y'all today. That's all that I picked up at Target. I did get some of the stuff from CVS because Target didn't have everything. Next time, I think I'm going to go to Walmart. Um, I think I'm going to go to one of the far out Walmarts because I feel like I'll be able to find more of what I'm looking for. Everybody shops at Target. Um, I don't really know about Walmart's population too much because I don't go there too often. But I feel like everybody shops at Target. And lately, what I've been noticing is that a lot of the things that I'm looking for is wiped out. Like they don't replenish it as often. Um, it's literally sold out or you have to drive to like a further out target to find it. So I think next time I want to switch it up and try like some different stores, but I got mostly everything that I was looking for. Definitely want to let you guys know how I feel about the new products that I'm trying out for the first time. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And if you have any product recommendations or anything that you guys know will help with dry skin, definitely comment down below so I can try those out. And also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to keep up with the vibes. See y'all next time.